feel healthy through a hike and having to go home early. And then, of course, affordable. Um, you know, going on a long hike is not cheap. The gear isn't cheap. Taking the time off work, it all costs money. So we want to be sure that you can stretch your money until the end of your adventure and to really still support your body for this physically demanding thing that you're doing at the same time. Um, and then accessible. And what I mean by that is that being practical is knowing how to find the healthy ingredients at almost any grocery store. So you don't need to buy expensive, fancy superfoods to eat healthy on trail. It can really be easy and it can be doable. And we'll talk about that um, in just a moment. So when I'm talking about calorie dense, um, I suggest aiming for at least 125 calories per ounce when you're looking at the ingredient label or the food that you're looking at. Um, as you can see, fat has nine calories per gram. Carbs and protein both have four calories per gram. Um, so you, uh, to minimize your food weight, you really want to focus on getting a lot of those healthy fats into your diet. Um, and some examples of calorie and nutrient dense whole foods that have a lot of those healthy fats that I like are listed there. Olive oil, coconut oil, nut butters, um, dark chocolate, trail mix, and that type of stuff. So what I mean by healthy, again, it doesn't have to be complicated. I only put a few tips up here um, just to intentionally convey that it can be simple and doable, it can be inexpensive, it can be tasty. Um, so I encourage you to choose whole foods when possible, and then by that I mean things that either have no ingredient label or have a very short one. Um, things like fruit, nuts, beans, grains, veggies. Um, when you do buy packaged foods, uh, the shorter the ingredient list, the better. And I encourage you to avoid dyes, preservative, processed oils, and additives when possible. And I say that because those are those ingredients that are really gonna add to that inflammation load that your body is already under, rather than avoiding it. So think about choosing food that's gonna, gonna cut down on that overall inflammation that, and that burden on your body that you're already under versus adding to it. Um, and then with affordable, um, there's a misconception, I believe, that, that healthy eating has to be more expensive, and it doesn't. I actually just wrote um, an article on my blog that's a really detailed article all about how to um, go on a healthy hike on a budget. And these are some of the tips that I mentioned there. I go into a lot more detail, but um, if you're sending resupply boxes, shop in bulk for those. Go, when you're in trail towns, go to stores and use the bulk bins so you can just get the amount that you want. It's probably going to be healthier foods also, way less processed. Um, buy town snacks and meals at the grocery store rather than eating out for every single meal when you're on trail. Um, again, it's going to be healthier and less expensive. Utilize hiker boxes um, if they're in the town that you're in. Um, sometimes you can find some good stuff in there. Um, olive oil packets, nut butters. Um, unopened bars that are good. Um, if you're prone to overspending, I just suggest you spend less time in town. Of course, get in, uh, rest up, get your errands done, and then get back on trail. And that's a way to cut down on um, overspending on food as well. And again, I'll link to that article at the end. And then finally, again, accessible. And to me, that's about knowing where to look for healthy items that you can find at most common grocery stores. Um, and here are just a couple of, of tips. So looking in bulk bins, again, it's gonna cut down on um, how much money you're spending. Nut butters are great. Um, you can, you'll come to learn, it takes a little effort up front, but you'll begin to learn what brands are health, on the healthier side and, you, and you'll know where to find them. So you can just go into the store, you know where to grab them, you can do your resupply quickly and get back out. Um, with bars, again, learn which ones are healthier and by that, I would mean like date and nut-based nut bars, more whole food ingredients, less additives and fillers. Um, and then read labels and find brands that have just a few ingredients. And an example I'm giving with that is tortilla chips, usually have less than five ingredients. They're often just corn, salt, uh, maybe lime, and some type of oil, whereas Doritos contain 47 unrecognizable ingredients. That's serious, they do. <laughs> Um, so, I love Doritos. Was that you love them? Well, you know, it's all about moderation. So, just, uh, and yeah, and making thoughtful choices. So just know what you're getting into. Um, so, let's look at some actual meals. And so, these are some of the meals that I have, that I eat throughout the trail. And again, as you saw, I usually use a stoveless system. So, these are all designed to be stoveless. But of course. 
you can cook them as well, and it does open up more options for you, potentially. Um, and as I go through these, you'll notice that they're all highly customizable. So you can choose the ingredients that you put into them. Again, when you're shopping in like the bulk bins and things like that, you can mix and match. You can create so many different varieties. So as I'm going through these, think about how you would customize it for your own tastes. Um, so breakfast for me is often one of these meals. It's some type of smoothie that has a protein powder in it with some healthy fats from chia, some spices, and then I often add a green superfood powder. I might do overnight oats where the night before I soak rolled oats plus something else, chia, flax, spices, nuts, um, or some type of granola. Um, I choose, or I'm, I suggest you choose varieties that have the least added sugar. Oftentimes granola can be way sugary, but you can find healthy ones. Um, or making your own is super simple if you're making resupply boxes and it makes your house smell amazing when it's baking. Um, you can eat it plain, add dried milk, combine it with nut butter. I like to just uh, dip my spoon in almond butter and then dip it into my granola bag. And um, that's what I usually do for that. For lunch and snacks, these are again are just a couple ideas that I like, but you can choose your own. Um, I'll do some kind of wrap with a tortilla and then some type of filling such as a rehydrated hummus or crushed chips, maybe nut butter and uh, jam, or tuna packet, cheese and meat, um, bars, of course, the staple of the hiker diet. Um, again, choose varieties with simple, real food ingredients. And then a few of my favorites are listed there, either ones that you make at home or some of these. There are lots, there are so many good bar varieties out there and lots of healthy ones that are coming out every single day. Um, upgraded Gorp. So it doesn't have to just be your boring old gorp. You can, again, in the bulk bins, just make your own varieties. I threw together one really quickly this morning that is out on my table downstairs that's just cranberries, uh, pumpkin seeds, almonds, and I think I put coconut in there. So it has those great fats, those great proteins, super simple to make, and you customize it to your own taste. And then um, if you eat uh, meat, jerky, or cured meats, I mentioned pasture raised there because it's actually really important nutritionally, um, the nutritional profile of pasture raised as opposed to conventionally raised meats and pasture raised can have more of the anti-inflammatory omega-6 fats, whereas conventionally raised meats could be contributing to that overall inflammation load. So just be really careful with that. And then for dinner, um, again, as you saw in the gear panel, I'm kind of boring. I don't mind eating the same things all the time. I honestly just eat that first one almost every night on trail where I rehydrate beans or hummus and then add veggies to it. Um, but you could also do like a grain bowl, rehydrate couscous and ramen, add nuts and seeds, um, spices, tuna, chicken if you want to. Um, all right, and so we have a little bit of time left, so I'll talk about nutrition in town. Um, so if you've been on a long hike, we, you know this feeling, you're walking into town, you're thinking about all of the food that you're gonna eat, all the ice cream and the pizza and the burgers and the beer, um, and definitely like treat yourself and replenish. But again, I just encourage you to think about what your body actually needs and think about making deliberate choices while you're in town. Um, so these are just a few of my tips to optimize your nutrition while you're in town. Um, it is an easy opportunity to make up for those uh, nutrient deficiencies. Most of our nutrients are gonna come from fresh fruits and veggies, and we don't wanna carry those all the time, obviously, because they're mostly water, they're heavy. Um, so being in town, you don't have to pack them anywhere. You just bring them from the grocery store and eat them. So make up for nutrient deficiencies then. Um, go to the grocery store first and pick up veggies to snack on in town and to pack out for the first, first day or two. And this can, again, help with your nutrition on the overall on trail. I'll often grab you know, a group, bag of carrots or something like that and say, okay, I have to finish this before I leave town or carry it out with me. Um, someone suggested to me making family style meals at your hostel or hotel with your hiker trash family. These again are often healthier and cheaper. Someone can grab a roast chicken, someone else can get salad materials, um, someone else can make the guac, and these are gonna be way less processed, less added oils and other things like that, and it's gonna be cheaper to do it, and you get more time to bond with your hiker trash fam. Uh, at restaurants, I suggest ordering a salad and drinking some water before going straight to the beer, pizza, and ice cream. Um, this is gonna help, the fiber is gonna help fill you up so you don't feel like a total bottomless pit, which will happen. Um, and again, drinking some water is going to help you stay hydrated so you don't just feel like you have to eat and eat and eat. And again, you're going to help with getting more nutrients in. 
And then the last tip on there is um, try to find some probiotics while you're in town to support your gut, gut health. That's really gonna help with your overall immune system. And the things that contain these live cultures that are in probiotics are more difficult to pack out, so getting them in town is a really important thing to do, and it will help with just your overall health. And some examples of those are yogurt, kombucha, kimchi, and sauerkraut. Um, so I know I've thrown a lot of information at you, so this slide kind of boils it down to some of the key takeaways. Um, and the first one is for consistent energy, you need to balance your blood sugar, and you do that by adding a healthy fat and protein um, to each meal and snack. And the second tip on there is to know yourself and to be mindful of groupthink. And what I mean by this is that there's no one-size-fits-all trail diet, and it's a good idea to try a, try a lot of different foods out before the trails to know what you like and what you don't like. We've all heard the horror stories of someone who buys hundreds of dollars of some healthy food that they send to themselves and they get to their box and they don't want any of it. So avoid that by uh, doing some experimentation beforehand and knowing what brands you like, know what foods work with your body, and then you can find those in the stores or you can send those to yourself. And um, by, you know, be mindful of groupthink, is that you need to know what's best for you, know what your own goals are, um, and just because everyone else around you might be eating a bunch of junk food and garbage doesn't mean that's all you have to do as well. And like, just like we saw with the gear panel, everyone carries something different for their own reasons. Um, you know, it's hike your own hike, right? Choose the gear, choose the route that works for you, choose the gear that works for you, choose the diet that best supports your body and your goals on trail. Um, and then the next tip, hydrate but don't overhydrate. So again, be mindful of drinking enough water but also replenishing those electrolytes. Um, and again, um, talking about we can reduce our environmental impact by choosing healthier foods. That's really central to the mission of why I talk to people about nutrition and the food system. Um, and I think as uh, outdoor enthusiasts, we have an awesome opportunity to align our, our values with our actions. And we know how good it feels when you pack trash out. We know how good it feels to reduce our impact on the environment. And our food choices are a really awesome and easy way to do that as well. And as a bonus, you get to have the healthy energy and endurance um, and the right mindset to crush big miles as well. Um, so I encourage you, don't get